on earth did I just see? <laughs> right. What could it be? Yeah. Uh. Mm, thanks to you, I'm starting to piece it all together. What does it mean? You know, this marionette's personality substrate is completely blank. I mean, it doesn't even have a personality construct in there. But I thought Maya was inside. It looks like their personality substrate is actually connected to augmented dreaming. In other words, Maya Gannett's consciousness is actually trapped in AD. She's trapped in AD? But why? That experiment three years ago was all about linking you guys up to AD, right? I have a feeling it was the professor who did this for whatever reason. Anyone can control this body. You just need to know where the access point in AD is. So, we're back at square one. We can't even narrow down the list of potential culprits. The killer is using AD. What are we supposed to do to help Maya wake up? If she's part of the AD system now, then just about the only thing we can do is release her from the network. I'm guessing that'll involve finding her in the dream and giving her some kind of shock. <sighs> Looks like it's still got some data to crunch through. You mind leaving me to it? I saved your ID. I'll give you a call if anything comes up. So she thinks Maya's become part of AD. I bet that's what that little girl is. I need to use the pocket watch to go and see her. So that's why this episode seemed short. Because the other section is just... There. This is... Oh. That experiment to blend reality the dream world. Maybe this is what they meant. The nightmare everyone's experiencing is going to merge with the city. Reality is gradually collapsing and transforming into the dream that little girl showed me. I'm worried no one might be affected by the state AD's in right now. Hal, let's head home! Screw him, like... <laughs> What can we do? I don't even know how this episode's gonna fit. Keith? What's going on? Escorting Keith Tozaki to the bureau. Do you have to say it like that? I don't want any misunderstandings, okay? Did you do something? Again? Stop kidding around. Keith Tozaki is injured. He is being taken to the Administration Bureau Infirmary. What's wrong? It's nothing. You annoy the hell out of me. <laughs> Looks like the Bureau is going to take me in, given the state the city's in right now. Besides, I needed to pay them a visit anyway. Everything worked out perfectly. Word of advice, champ. Stay sharp. The city's a dangerous place. Not that you needed reminding. <laughs> yeah, at this point. Way. But we have to go back to the thing. I guess now? What's wrong? <laughs> you tell me. Maya, this is part of AD, isn't it? Come on. Let's get out of here. 
Why? You need to wake up. I'm staying here. I made a promise I can't break. I have to take you to the future. Forget that. I just need you to come with me. You can't stay here. No. I'm not going home yet. Wait! Maya. Well, that was effective. Hmm. Oh, thanks for throwing me out. <laughs> Should I check what's in AD? I mean, I really don't want to be bothered with it. But this is kind of new. This is terrible. Treatment candidate detected. Starting mental counseling. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I need to be careful. I can't go on like this. Mm. Stay cool, Al. I need to see how they respond. It's not gonna be that easy. Yeah, but we still don't get shit from it. I really do hope it's gonna be something worthwhile at the end. Where's Ash, by the way? Who is it? There's no ID. Do you think it could be that lady? Mic check. One, two. Can you hear me? <coughs> Cecilia is doing fine. The analysis is coming along nicely, too. So here's the thing. I looked over Cecilia's access records. Broadly speaking, there are two waveform patterns for connections via AD. Are you saying... That there are two people connected to Cecilia? Oh. Yep. One started a few days ago. That's gotta be Maya, right? The other one... There goes the bell again. There's not much time. It must be seven days since the clock tower started up again. You need to wake Maya up as soon as you can. I dread to think what had happened to her if she stays trapped inside AD. I'll keep up the analysis. I'll let you know if I have a breakthrough. It's been seven days since the clock tower started up. <laughs> Crazy. No? Where are you? She better. You're here. No. Enthusiastic as always. Maya's in AD. Did you know? I knew part of her was, but she said she wasn't ready to open her eyes just yet. 
We need to wake her up right now. AD is starting to malfunction. <sighs> Maya. Why? What are you trying to do in AD? If something happens to me down the line, I need you to carry out the plan. Okay, I did not expect her. Remember, if you hear the clock tower bell, that means the fusion experiment has restarted. When it rings, all Kairos hosts will be seized by their dreams. From there, augmented dreaming will gradually encroach on reality. This work follows on from the experiment we started nine years earlier. Listen, when the clock begins to move, I need you to secure the key. Then, you must head to the top floor of the tower without delay. You'll need this to interface with the mechanism at the top of the clock tower. One of the keys is in my possession. The other one is out in the world somewhere. But when the time comes, it will find its way back here. When the bell rings out, Cestelia will wake up and help us execute the plan. I'll order them to do so. The problem is Maya. Her ability is a real cause for concern. Am I not Maya? If she saw the future, she'd become a concrete threat to the plan. Even if we were completely honest with her. I just know she wouldn't come round. I can't imagine she'd stand idly by while the plan put her family in harm's way. I don't want Maya to find out. I don't want to involve her in any of this. Nice, Kyle. <laughs> you had one job. You're right. Let's put her to sleep until this is all over. Professor! Professor Rumford! There's something I need you to see. We've detected a slight abnormality in AD. I'll be right there. Wait here. I don't get the whole point of everything at this point. <laughs> huh? You're... Who are you? <laughs> Maya. Huh. I figured something was up when I heard AD was going crazy. Noel's the one behind it, isn't he? I knew it. You two have been keeping tabs on me this whole time, haven't you? No, I swear we haven't. We were just worried about you and wanted to help somehow. That's all. I don't get why you've been avoiding us, but I do know that you've been suffering. You don't have to go it alone. We're family, Hal. We're here to help whenever you need us. I don't need your help. In the end, I'm just gonna disappear without a trace. Seeing how things have turned out, I'd have been better off on my own. I should have just accepted my fate. Like all the other variants who were killed out there. How could you say something like that? One day, you'll end up thinking that way too. No. Never. Whatever happens, whatever I find out... Hal, what's eating you up inside? Is it the professor? Is he making you suffer? No. Hal, let's leave this place. You made a promise. You said you'd show me and know the outside one day. I can't. I can't keep my promise. I wish the clock tower would start up and make this all go away. Hal, you can try all you want. I know when you're putting on an act. What on earth did I just see? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm the one who was plotting with the professor to destroy the city? 
Well... It's Ash! What on earth he wants now? Ash! <laughs> Ash? Where are you? Ash! Is it Keith? Just shut up and listen. I say that, but I have no idea how to put this, man. Seriously. Things are so messed up right now. Ash? Where are you? Ah. Huh. Um... I mean, it was a female... Uh, it was Elaine. <laughs> Elaine? Ash, what the hell is going on? Ash? How? Lily, we need to get to the Bureau right now. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> It's a lot, like this episode is just too much.